Hey guys, it's John, and today we are playing Remothered Broken Porcelain. If you don't know anything about the Remothered series, this is actually a sequel to Remothered Tormented Fathers, which I played a couple years ago. It is a indie modern day clock tower is the best way I can describe it, if you've never heard of the game before. Very high production indie horror game. Uh, I really enjoyed the last Remothered. It did have some bugs and some technical aspects I didn't like, but uh, very unique, and it's rare that we see a horror game with this type of production quality, so I'm very excited to play uh, this demo, I think. I was fortunate enough to be given early access to it, so the full game does not come out until October 13th. It was October 20th, but uh, Amnesia Rebirth comes out that day, so I think they moved it up a week. Let's go ahead and check out a new game. Let's go. Did you confirm your action? That's a weird way to phrase it. Yes. Before starting a new game, do you want to see a recap of the events of Remothered Tormented Fathers? I'm going to need this because I forget pretty much everything about the first game. Uh, if you do too, we'll have the recap for all of us to learn together what happened in the first game. Okay. Or do you want me to start? From the beginning. That's a good place to start. I'm watching this again because there's something wrong with my capture of the game. It was too dark, so... I've already seen this, but I'm watching it again. Let's go. Recap. One late afternoon, a mysterious woman, who introduces herself as Dr. Reed Rosemary, visits the villa of the old notary, Richard Felton, whom suffers from a strange disease. He is assisted by his personal nurse, Gloria Ashman, after a brief and fruitless conversation, Reed is exposed as an imposter. She has come to the villa to find out what really happened to Felton's missing adopted daughter, Celeste. After being thrown out and refusing to give up, Reed hides until nightfall and sneaks back into the villa to search for clues. Stupid. As Reed explores the villa, she soon finds herself in the center of her worst nightmare. Richard Felton has killed his wife, Ariana Gallo, and has lost his sanity. Upon learning that Reed has infiltrated the villa, Felton and a mysterious red nun begin hunting Reed. I love the red Reed nun. Reed eventually reaches the attic, where a mysterious girl who claims to be called Jennifer is found looming in the shadows. Reed eventually discovers that Richard Felton and the Jennifer in the attic are actually the same person. Richard Felton was born as a woman, but was then forced by her cruel father to live as a man. Phenoxyl, a drug created by Felton, the Ashmans and Professor Wyman on the Rosagallo farms, was created from a rare breed of parasitic moths to repress and erase traumatic memories. It is revealed that the drug was tested on Felton and the nuns of the nearby convent. The drug caused terrible side effects, hallucinations, severe light sensitivity, and homicidal rage. As Reed was escaping Jennifer, Gloria returns to the villa and offers to help Reed. Gloria drugs Reed, and upon wakening, she finds Gloria forcing Felton to cut out his own tongue and burn himself to death. Gloria reveals that she is the Red Nun, the sole survivor of the fire at the convent, which was started to cover up the Phenoxyl experiments. Gloria had been hypnotizing Felton for revenge. After a frantic confrontation, Reed manages to escape Gloria's murderous rage. Just before Gloria passes, she reveals that Celeste is still alive and that she had fled the Felton Villa years ago. Reed must continue her search for unanswered questions. If Gloria was the daughter of Felton's associates, the Ashmans, why was she used as a guinea pig for experiments in the convent? Who were the Feltons protecting their daughter from? What happened to Celeste Felton? All right, clear as mud. I, I think I get the gist of it. It's, uh, there's a lot of familial relations to keep track of. There's a lot of so-and-so's, so-and-so's daughter, and so-and-so is so-and-so's father, and whatnot. But, uh, I think I get the gist, especially after watching it twice. So, if you want to watch me play Tormented Fathers, by the way, there's a playlist in the description where you can do just that. It's a little all over the place because... It came out in early access like several times before the full version was released, so it was kind of episodic. But anyway, let's check this out. This demo represents a work in progress and may differ from the final product. Got it. I'm down. Who are we playing as? Celeste? 
I assume. We're about to find out. So, Daryl Arts. Uh, Chris Daryl, the mind behind the game, was actually a concept artist for Nightcry. Fun fact. So that kind of explains a lot of the Clock Tower influence. Oh, is this a Phenoxyl ad? Suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder. We have the solution to your problem. Wait, how long ago was this ad published? It isolates and removes your torment, be it an old traumatic event or a bad memory. Say goodbye to restless nights and constant churning over it. Forget about it forever. It's finally possible with Phenoxyl. Yeah, I know. Thanks. Monsters. Fucking monsters. Okay. Hi, who are you? Exactly. Okay. Explore the area. Objectives. Explore the area. Got it. Alright, I guess we're playing as this girl. You can't erase memories forever. What? It would be like erasing time itself. Who's saying that? Memories and time go hand in hand. Uh, okay. The consequences would be even more devastating than Alzheimer's disease. What was there that? Would be no separation between pre Alzheimer's? and post-trauma. The memories would wander autonomously in search for answers. For a common ground. Oh, you can hide in the locker. Nice. Fractured by spells of amnesia, hallucinations, and emotional Who swings, is saying all this? Two opposing perceptions would coexist. Overlapping and threatening one another. To the detriment of the one truth, now shattered. The so-called... Porcelain memory. Oh, nice. We can loop him here. Okay. Well, not that person's. Shut up. I can hear myself think. What's this? What is a moat carton? Oh, is that her? That's the missing. Oh, wait, no. That's uh, Reed's daughter, I think. Missing Carmenella Santi. Okay, so that's a collectible. Or no. That's, that's just a missing child, I think. Um, okay, here's a vent. Can we go in there? Do we have a light source, by the way? I guess not. Okay. Let's go out. Um. Oh! Hi! Uh. Wait, what's this? What's this? Screwdriver? Oh, damn. Okay, okay. Screwdriver. What do we use? What do we use the screwdriver for? Oh, damn. Go in, go in. Oh, holy shit. Get it. Can I use it on this? Ow, I'm just getting destroyed here. Oh, that was supposed to happen. Okay, because I was about to get mad. <laughs> Remothered broken porcelain. Okay, let's go. So that was, I think we were being dropped into the middle of the experience there. Because that was a strange place to start. But yeah, as I was saying, Chris Darrell was a com uh, concept artist on Nightcry before this. And actually, the early versions of Remothered, I remember following it like seven years ago, looked way different. It was a 2D. It started as like a Clock Tower remake, like straight up a remake, uh, if I'm not mistaken. But it kind of turns into this, which is way better. Way more interesting. Oh, we're going back to 1973. Don't mind if I do. Hello? Yes. Hello? Who is this? Is that Dr. Rosemary? Sounds like her. Ashman? Okay, so this Mr. is Ashman. Andrea. The girl is here. Shall I let her in? <laughs> oh, she's got keys. We're gonna have to steal those at some point. Go on. Sit down. The girl is here. So this must be Celeste, right? You know right? why you're here, young lady, don't you? Uh Sure. No, I don't. I actually have no idea. What's wrong with your mouth? It didn't move when you talked. 
I guess we'll have a conversation now. Mr. Ashman. I am willing to turn a blind eye to the money and the cigarettes. Don't be fooled into thinking that I don't know about them. But for everything else, I refuse to do so. This is not a tourist resort, nor a playground. Breaking an entry? Larceny! What plans did you have for that gun? For God's sake, Jennifer, tell me! Jennifer? Okay, wait. Oh, so this is... It seems you are a magnet for trouble. From what I'm reading, you caused a lot of hassle, especially at the Flemington Girls Institute. Other girls similar to you ended up straight in juvie. Did you know that? All I can do is apologize. I can assure you I never intended... Young lady, what are you running away from? You are safe here. You can talk to me about it. I'm serious! <sighs> Very well. We will have to talk about this again. Considering what has happened, I have made arrangements to give you new chores. You will help Eliza in the kitchen. But, sir! You will do your best. I've always done my best here! I seriously doubt that. <laughs> okay. When you become of age, you will do as you wish and as you see fit. But until then, you are under my care and you will do as I say. Run along now. Okay. Okay, so hang on. I know I just watched the recap. So these are the Ashmans. Oh, and by the way, Lindsay will no longer be a problem for you. What does that mean? Did you kill her? What do you, mean? you whacked her? She insisted that I send you elsewhere. Instead, I have organized to have her transferred to another facility. They will be coming to collect her next week. Yeah, collect her body, maybe. You may leave. Hang on, so are we playing as... Richard Felton earlier in her life. The bathroom in room number 212 has to be cleaned. Oh, and don't forget that you'll be helping Elisa in the kitchen after lunch. Okay. You've really done it this time. Make sure that the two of you don't get him agitated after his parents' death. Mr. Ashman Jr. did everything by himself here. What happened to them? Dead, my dear. Like all those who grow old. And I'm sure the morning sped up the process. Morning? For the nearby convent. Have you seriously not heard of it? Okay, so the, the convent's convent already happened. Went up in flames one day. Even this building was part <laughs> She's in there, damaged. dude. Come on. A dozen nuns died in that fire. Mr. Ashman's sister, Gloria, being one of them. Oh. That's terrible. They had contracted some sort of disease. They practically went blind. They had gone mad. And that doctor, Wyman? Sure as hell didn't help them. Poor girl. She was locked up in there by her own parents. Why? Hi, Jen. Oh, Andrea. I'll start with room 213. Who are you? Where'd all the audio go? Oh, no. Well, this is the demo, guys. Did Mr. Ashman have something to do with it? Shh! Lower your voice! You'll get us thrown out of here. Oh. It seems that Mr. Ashman had the bad habit of touching his little sister. What? Oh, God. What? Obviously, the parents didn't like this at all. So they sent him to a family relative in the north and his sister Gloria to the convent. If it were me, I would have done the opposite. For him, the arrangement only lasted a few months. For her instead? Well, that's another story entirely. He had always been mommy and daddy, sweetheart. Thanks for all the gossip. I could barely keep track of it. This game's series biggest flaw is that it's like it's just hard to keep up with what's happening. And now we're going to bed. Okay. What was that little gossip sesh all about? Is that coming from the mirror? Turn up the volume, I can barely hear it. Hopefully you guys can, though. If I heard whistling coming from my mirror, I'd go away from it! <laughs> Fucking hell, then you scared me! Is this Lindsay? <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you're not! Ever heard of knocking? No way. That is so last year. That's such a goosebumps moment. 
Everything okay with Ashman? Wait, so you're getting transferred, aren't you? Fantastic. Never better. Everything is great. He got angry, didn't he? Why would you care, Lynn? Tell me. I was just asking. Asking what? It's none of your business. What are you talking about? You can't be upset with me forever. I'm trying not to be, but my arm keeps reminding me. Okay, she flipped her off. I didn't so she mean to. It was only an accident. Do you have any idea how guilty I feel? Not guilty Please. enough. You just pranked me. I feel me. so shit about it. I didn't want it to get to this point. I already know it all. Ashman told me everything. What are you talking about? She wanted you, you transferred? You suggested to him that yeah. I be transferred elsewhere. Right, okay. Is I remember that. that. you wanted? You're really a bitch sometimes. A bitch who let herself be fooled. But no. In the end, you withdrew yourself. You broke my arm! You didn't want to get in trouble. I didn't want to get in trouble. Well said. You think we would have gotten away with it, right? What? Got away with Go what? Away, Lynn. Leave me alone. No! You're, you're going to let me speak. <gasps> Go Don't away! break my other arm. Just please! Uh -huh. Open the fucking door! <laughs> door! Fuck you, Lynn! Fuck you! You were disloyal. I thought we knew each other, but I was wrong. <laughs> Go away. I beg you. Okay. I, <laughs> I I'm trying I'm trying to keep track of everything that's happening. It's just a lot. The way that the story's being told is oh all God. over the place. I have to leave this place at once. Huh? Well, what's happening now? Can I at least can I at least get items? I am I'll be on. Oh, 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 pick it up. No. Wait, can I get the. Can I get the creams? I might want the cream. Is there. Is there a. Can I not pick up. Is, I guess it's not an item, huh? I know that this is urgent and everything, but there's. There's magazines at the cabinet I might want. Want well, some pills? No, it's. A, okay, so none of these are. So I can't take any of these. You can't take it with you, Jennifer. All right. I'm gonna stop wondering about who this character is because it's 1973, right? Oh, Lynn disappeared, huh? Lynn, who? I can't believe I'm still dragging around this lice-infested suitcase. Oh, that's a weird I was at the shift. Flemington Institute. Okay, so I clicked on the suitcase and the perspective dropped to the floor. That kind of that's kind of jarring. Look. Yeah, that's a little... Okay, I was trying to just open it up. What's this? I got a moth key. What? That's an important item to just have on the mantle. I could have easily missed that. I'm mostly wondering if I get a flashlight or a lantern or anything. That's kind of my big thing right now. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna move on. So, should we leave or... I'm gonna stop sorting through... The drawers and there's nothing on TV. Man, there's nothing to do here. Can't watch TV. Does this? Wait, what's this? The hotel will reopen in late spring. Until then, I will only see the same ugly old faces. You know what, Jen? You got a bad attitude. Okay. Glass half full. Hotel Ashman Inn, ex Rosso Gallo. The grand reopening, April thirteenth, nineteen seventy-three. Enjoy a romantic and exciting getaway located at the base of Mount Etna, where breathtaking views are coupled with an invigorating climate, creating an enchanting picture frame to our rustic hotel. Treat yourself, an abundance of locally made organic products. Okay, so wait, so are we in an, are we in an inn right now? What does it mean? If this is a joke, I don't like it at all, Lynn. What, this is go away? Well, I, I'm not doing that. Get me out of here. I collected the item. I got a collectible. Am I supposed to stay in my room or can I leave? What I pick up? A shovel? Oh, these are like defense items. Okay. I, I picked up a shovel. Uh, oh! <laughs> oh, 
Okay, so I can hide in there. Got it. This game's a lot. It's... It's really good. Eliza said she would have taken care of it. I don't understand why it's locked. It's it's really unique. But yeah, it's got character is what I will say about it right now. Locked? This door has never been locked before. We got to get those keys, I'm telling you. It's like I said earlier. We got to get those keys. Eh, go take a nap then. Put your keys down. Investigate. Reach the lobby. So this is locked, right? Yeah, yeah, because that, that's what happened in the cutscene. Sorry, I'm just a little frazzled right now. I'm just going to assume we're playing as Celeste until further notice, because I thought I something in the first game said that she also went by Jennifer. It's time to eat. Who cares? We're playing as Jennifer. That's who we're playing as. It's time to eat. Who is that tray for? Who are you talking to? Obviously the monster that lives in the vents, Jennifer. Let's take a look. I don't understand. There aren't any guests at the hotel. Who could have ordered a meal? What does the note say? What the hell does Acarontia mean? Let me read it first, Jennifer. Failed test. Uncontrollable Acarontia proliferation. It was eating it alive. Okay, so this, so it's something moving. Oh, you gotta open it up. Open it up, open it up, open it up, open it up. What the fuck? What the hell did they do to you? You know they used to call him Wyman once upon a time. <laughs> what? It's part of all of us. What's happening right now? Oh! Oh no. So she's got the mods. I have to make sure I don't get caught. Oh, it's okay. She's not that fast. Okay, she's kind of fast actually. She's not gonna she's not gonna see me. I you didn't see me go in here. No, oh, she's smart! Okay, she didn't get me though. She she just threw me out. Oh shouldn't be here, huh? Okay. Uh Okay, 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 check this out, check this out, check this out. Oh, big brain. Big brain, get in there. She'll never see it, she won't see it, she won't see it. <laughs> Look, she's too slow. She couldn't get around the corner in time. Oh, where'd I go? Oh, she's looking in the room. Oh, she came right out. She didn't spend much time in there. I was about to say, I'm gonna hop out once it's been a couple seconds. Good thing I didn't. She's running around. I'm gonna get out. Okay. Shh. Okay. Hey, why don't you open up these locked doors with your keys? That would be helpful, don't you think? This is supposed to be a hotel. It feels more like an orphanage. It is, it does feel like, more like an orphanage, you're right. Okay, can I, can I peek? Oh wait, was that her that said that? Huh, can I go in the vent? No. How am I supposed to, okay. Stealth, okay. <laughs> wait, wait, be sure not to get heard. Even when looking at something else, stalkers can notice you by the noise you make. Crouch and walk to make sure not to be heard. Sometimes stalkers won't be alone. Beware of everything that can hear you and put your enemy on your track. Shut up! Don't look this way. What's this? I got a talking doll. Quiet, you. It would be best if I just told him. I don't work with crybabies. <laughs> I don't work with crybabies. What does this say? Staff only. Oh, we're going in here. Damn, it's locked. Okay. Well, we gotta get those keys then. 
Open it. Open it. Open it. Jennifer, I'm gonna need you to open. Oh, oh my God. Okay, hang on. Okay. What? It closed. What is going on? Okay, it's open now. Can we close it? Okay, well, whatever. All right, all right, all right. Ooh, save the game. Okay, saving in slot one. So this is how you saved in the first game too, you used mirrors. Great, okay. Yeah, we could probably walk around now. We probably don't have to, what's this? Uh, okay, so taxidermied bird. Great. Let's go in here. This must be the hotel's older wing. The one which was engulfed and destroyed by the fire. See, I opened that door just fine last, uh, that time. Damn, it's locked. Okay, she's probably got those keys on her. We should have been, like, if she had put them down, I think they would have been pretty obvious. It's saving. Let's go in. Let's go in. See? No problem. I don't know why that one door was so weird. Uh, what's this? Uh, scissors? Okay, I'll take the scissors. Why do I have a talking doll, by the way? Is that collectible? Or... No, it's not. It's like an item, I think. Did Andrea really suspect that someone was poisoning her? But... but who? I'm not going mad. I'm not possessed. It's in the air, in the food. They are poisoning me. So they're giving her... Phenoxyl, maybe? Why, it's just the light bulb. What happened? Oh. What? It's Andrea. Fuck. What the hell is going on with you, Andrea? I, I must warn the others. What you doing? You doing laundry? She's doing laundry. Old Ashman, that we didn't need desperate children. Okay. She's still going for it. Are you gonna be hanging around here for a while? No, she left. We didn't need desperate children. What does that mean? What's this? Tutorial, make the most out of items. You can combine items to get more powerful tools. Open the inventory with I and select crafting. Okay. Craftable items. So I can make what? So I got... How do I do it? Stun and damage the enemy for some time. So I got, well I got a doll and then I got this, create. What? So I got a talking doll? Alright. Equip. Do I equip? Did I do it? I have it equipped. So like... How do I use it though? Now is this timed? What'd you put in here by the way? A weird little washing machine. It's the key for the padlock. I'm sorry, what? I got the phone key? What's going on? <gasps> this game's a wild ride, man. No, no, fuck. Uh. 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 Did you lock the- Crap. She locked the door. I'm trapped. Where is she? Where is she? Is she in here? Oh. Where am I? Where am I right now? What's happening? Oh, okay. Uh, this is bugged. Pretty badly. Oh, jeez. Oh, this is bad. Okay. What the hell, dude? What am I clicking on? I'm clicking on stuff there. What's going on? Oh, there's a scissors and- there's scissors and a shovel. Go underneath. So how do I- how do I get out of here? 
Yeah, of course it's locked, right? Oh my god, she's right there. She threw me down on the ground. Where's all the uh, sound effects right now? Man, I know... <laughs> I'm, I'm like stuck in the... Can, can I equip the defense item? There's a there was a lot happening there. What? Okay, now I'm back in the game and I can't move. Uh Can't move. Uh can't hit escape either. What is Okay. Okay, this works. Resume. Oh, that's ah, weird. Okay. Right. So, let's get back in this. I actually didn't go this way. So I'm going to check this out real quick before going into the washroom. What is over here? Staff only. I understand. What's that? Carillon. All right. What's this? Bottle. And this is just straight up locked. Okay, so with this, I can actually create three different... Okay, I can create three different ones. Stun and damage the enemy for some time. Stun and damage the enemy for some time. Stun and damage the enemy for some time. Okay, so I could just... I could just... They all do the same thing then. How do I use it though? Okay, on the control screen... The controls are listed for controller. Uh, I don't see any button to switch them to keyboard. All right, I... I can use controller, that's no problem. I got one right here, I can, I can do it. Um, if that's gonna make things easier for me. Use diversion, right trigger. Okay, because I couldn't find that control for the keyboard. I was trying to use the diversion item. Um, okay, I have, I have the controller on now, and now the controls are missing. What? Scroll diversion. Up. Well, where are the rest of the... Wait, but now it's showing, now it's showing... Mouse controls. What has happened? I just, I, I clicked my mouse and now it's gone. This is frustrating. The, uh, I don't like this. Okay, I'm unplugging. <laughs> I unplugged it. Wait, I unplugged it. Okay. All right. Here we go. Now it's showing PC controls. No. What? No, it's not. It's not showing it anymore. Huh? I just want to know what the controls are. That is, uh, that is something that needs to be shored up in the next two weeks. Being able to look at the controls. Kind of a big deal. Okay, I made it. Now I've equipped it. Now how do I use it? It was left mouse button, I, I saw earlier, it said use diversion button, left mouse button, earlier. On the controls screen. So why is it not now? I don't care if I waste it, I just want to make sure I can use it. Crap, she locked the door, I'm trapped. Damn, she catches you right away! There's no way to like, stealth around. Wait, 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 what's this? There's a space. Space. What is that? Space. Space. Press the space. What does that do? Oh, it just dodges. Okay. So, like, what now? Left mouse button does not use... Wait. It's right mouse button. It's not left mouse button. It's right mouse button. Okay. I'm gonna try this again. What I'm gonna do is, I'm instead of trying to go back, I'm gonna hide behind the thing in front of me. She locked the door. I'm trapped. Okay. She's starting to move. Oh my god. 
So I won't open my mouth. I'll keep what? everything to myself. I was literally right there. Let's use the diversion item. How much setup time do you need for this? Are you serious? How long does this take to put down? Oh, you got a left click. This way. <laughs> Fucking shit, dude. Go through, go through. Now, step over it. What? Yeah, do you hear that? Do you hear the baby? Does it stun them? It says it damages and stuns the enemy. It's not. Oh my god, that was useless. I thought it damaged and stunned the enemy, but I guess not. Crap, she locked the door. I'm trapped. What? Oh, that's so dumb. Okay, she comes in. She locks the door. Crap! She locked the door. I'm trapped. Oh my god! That's ri that's ridiculous. Crap! She locked the door. I'm trapped. See, like right there. Okay, that does not open. I don't know what you do here. I'm pressing escape, and it's not pausing the game. <laughs> I'm pressing escape, and it's not pausing the game. When I hit the Windows key, though, it pauses the game. When I hit escape, nothing happens. Oh. Oh. Come on. Crap. She locked the door. I'm trapped. Oh my god, I successfully hid. Don't come this way. Okay, so that's what you have to do. You have to hide until she leaves, and if she spots you, you have no choice but to die in this room. Trust me, I've done it over 20 times. I've tried to outrun her, I tried to loop her, and it just goes on and on and on and on. I've also tried to fight her. There's, uh, three of these, like, knives and stuff in here. And I've stabbed her with all of them. Nothing, nothing does anything. The doors are locked until she decides to leave. It is a horrible game design, in my opinion. That is really bad. Also, I'm just going to go ahead and collect some stuff because I've played this so many times I know where everything is. There's a thing in here. Oh, it's hard to it's hard to aim at. By the way, it is the next day. Well, actually, it's a couple days. I took a couple days off from this game. <laughs> oh, there's a milk carton here. Let's get that. Make sure we get credit for it. Um, right. So, unlock and use the lounge room telephone. Do we go downstairs here? What was that? Oh, it's just a it's just a new knife, paper knife. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Down here, this is where we saw... Like, the breaker flip, I think? Do we maybe... Repair the electrical cable. Okay. I don't know how I'm supposed to do that. Oh, I'm, f I'm glad to finally move on this game. Oh my gosh. What's this? Oh, it's a screwdriver. Okay. There's just a bunch of little defense weapons you can pick up. Let's make this. By the way, it says stun and damage the enemy for some time, but that's not actually what it does. Because every- I, I, I've crafted several of these, and they don't do that. They don't do what they say they do. Ask Elisa for help. Find a way to open room 213. Well, can we do one thing at a time, please? Well, how many objectives do I have? Use the telephone in the lounge room. Unlock and use the lounge room telephone. Ask Lisa for help. Repair the electrical cable. Do I gotta do everything around here? My night just got a lot busier. Oh. Damn. I can't make external calls. Only to other hotel rooms. Okay, dial room number followed by the pound sign for rooms right. Okay. 
I understand. Secretary phone advice is what that note was called. Find a way to open room 213. Yeah, I got a pretty good idea. Okay, so... Two... One... Three... Pound sign. What now? I have to make sure not to get caught. Oh god, I hope they don't find out. Girls. Filthy girls. It's coming from room 213. Who's waiting? Now hang on a second. What's in here? Is there anything I can get? Okay, I got the moth key. What's in there? Okay. Yeah, we got it. I got the moth key. I don't know what that does. We know what to do. She's back at the desk. Okay, she opened up room 213, right? She also unlocked this door. I think. Okay, room 213. That's this one way down here. Okay. Let me in there. Eliza? Open it. Okay. Someone tells me she's not in here. There's no power. It won't work. What's well, a powered safe? Access the balcony from room 213. Okay, yeah, I know I get it. Wait, oh, hiding plot. Uh, hiding spot, hiding place. I said hiding plot. Because I started to say hiding place, and then I changed it to hiding plot. what I get? I got another moth key? I have multiple moth keys. Well, what do they do? What was going through your head, Lynn? Okay, be on top of the world talent contest for young amateur artists and composers. So, wait, how did you almost lose your arm again? Locked? You've got two moth keys. What do they even go to? Okay. Unlock and use the lounge room telephone. I thought I already did that. Why isn't that checked off? Access the balcony from room 213. Turn the power back on. Repair the electrical cable. There's so many, so many tasks for me to do. What is it? Does this go to my room? Right, we have a Jack and Jill bathroom. No sound effect for that. Weird. Is there a... What? Oh, I got an electrical cable from that. Okay. Can I craft another... Ooh, add corrosive power up to QDI to deal damage over time. Sure. QDI, I assume that means, like, defense item. I don't know what the Q stands for. Quick defense item. Okay. I think maybe shortening it to QDI is a little <laughs> over familiar. Considering I would. Can we get this, by the way? All our problems would be solved if we just got this thing off the wall. She's got. She's got to look like she got a headache near the mirror, and then that'll save the game. <laughs> All right. Right. Now, uh. Oh, oh. This is fun, actually. Whoop. Some dead by daylight shit right there. Let's just put the electrical cable. Yes, yes, please. Wait. Yes, I did it. It's as simple as that. You don't even need to be an electrician. Turn the power back on. Okay, so the power's back on. Now what? Okay, our next task is unlock the safe in room 213. Then maybe we can access the balcony. I don't. What do we use these moth keys for? Are they like collectibles? I know the milk cartons are collectibles, but are the moth keys also collectibles? All right. Let's uh let's go back to room 213 then. We need some kind of combination, right? What could the code be? Let's take a look, okay? If you forgot your code and for technical assistance called 62131. Oh, brother. 62131. We got to go back and use the telephone now. Okay, shh. She hates children. That- that's you. That's you, Jennifer. Never forget that. 62131. She hasn't sat down yet. Okay. Six... Yes, yes, you're very industrious. In order to factory reset your safe, 
Insert the following code. Three, this two, is supposed to be the hotel. one, four. Like Three, two, one, four, huh? I got it. Don't look over here. Why are you standing at work? No, go through, Jennifer. You don't need to see. We there's nobody on the other side of this. There's somebody over there though. So it's three one. Oh wait, three two one four. That's the code. All of a sudden there was a there was a person speaking. Kind of jarring. Three two one four. Okay. So three two one four. Okay, factory reset. Yes. Yes. What is it? Okay, balcony key. Wow, really? Let's open up the balcony. It's freezing. And now we jump off. Wait, we can literally do that. What? Wait, what? I was like, Okay, I was like, so you do die, you die there. I thought it was loading the next scene. <laughs> it's freezing. Okay, we won't just jump over. There's no like scream of anguish or anything. Okay, so that one, we can't unlock that one. All right, what's that? What did I just pick up? Moth key, that's gotta be a collectible of some kind. I'm freezing. Either that, or maybe there's a door that's like, you must use 12 moth keys. What was that? I couldn't hear you just now. I think she, she, her mouth was moving right there. She had a voice line, but it wasn't delivered. I must find a way to reach it. Oh, okay, we gotta push it. Can we, can we push it? Oh, 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 it's this. I thought we were supposed to push that other one way over there. Go get up! Oh my god, she's right there. I can do it. I can do it. She got right up on me. Wow, okay. Very important that we see how many birds are in here. Oh, the cages are to hold the birds. I hear the whistling. Not sure I like that very much. Felton? Gallo? So, this is the real reason why Rosso Gallo closed its doors. Dying like that, painfully, it would have been the same for any other person. Especially after everything they went through. Huh? Okay, let's read this. The tragedy of the Rosso Gallo farm continues. Not only was the business activity suspended due to a pending investigation following a confirmed intentional poisoning of the nuns of the convent and resident at the Rosso Gallo farm with a highly dangerous parasite, the tragedy continues. That's all one sentence. Damn. Marta Ashman passed away this morning, only a few days after her husband, Boris Ashman. It is reported that Marta Ashman died of natural causes. How much do we believe that? The couple had claimed to be completely unaware of the terrible experiments led by their business partners, Felton and Gallo, who were de devoted to creating a more effective prototype of the dangerous drug that is phenoxyl. The experiments were conducted in secrecy by Professor A.E. Wyman, who took his life only last month. The future of the Ashman family tree lies in the hands of the firstborn son, Stefano, after his sister Gloria, a nun, was one of the victims of the fire that... How do you scroll down? Oh, I put it down. The mirror. It couldn't have shut it by itself. I saw it. What's going on, kids? Mommy is coming. Huh? Andrea, I died. Yeah, she saw me go in here. Get in. Yeah, we don't want to be caught in a room with her. She's relentless. Calm down. Calm down. Everything is fine. Mommy is here. Okay. They're probably hungry for some of the moths fluttering around your head. Oh, we want that. We don't have enough keys. 
Mommy is exhausted. One of these days, you're all going to make me crazy. And she falls asleep instantly. Crouch. Crouch. I'm telling you to crouch. I'm telling her to crouch and she won't do it. I'm pressing control. Why won't she crouch? Holy shit. Why won't you crouch? This is... Couldn't get you to stop crouching earlier. I don't know why she didn't crouch just now. That's what you're supposed to do when you want to stealth. Okay. We got her pass part out. And now we leave. Not quite. Oh. Oh. Why, why is that? This is a weird time for a tutorial. If you can get close enough without being spotted, you can attack him. Him? Hit them enough to make them fall to the ground for a while. Use this time to your advantage. Maybe this way, you'll be able to get that keys. Okay. Wait. So, come on. Alright, uh, yeah, eventually you'll get it. Ow! How come I can't dodge? Huh. Stab. So, I'm confused. How am I supposed to stealth attack? What's this? Screwdriver? How am I supposed to <laughs> stealth attack when she's already seen me? Okay. Well, I mean, there's pretty much no way. Oh! How come that didn't work in the laundry room? I did that! In the laundry room, I hit her like. I don't know if I have footage of it, but I hit her like four times with quick defense items. Oh, she's not done yet. She's not done yet. I don't understand. Ow, I don't have one now. Because I got stun locked. Did I take too long to pick him up? Because I was incredulous that we were able to defeat her so easily, or? Oh my god, I don't know, dude. Yeah, she stun locked me in the corner, so. It's okay, we hit her. Okay. Well, this has been great. Um, I'm gonna pick this up and uh, oh, we can leave. Nice. All right, the crows are freaking out. She's after me. Um, <laughs> look at her. Uh, why don't you go ahead and hit me a couple more times? Go ahead. Ow. Okay. She should be down for the count now. Okay, but we know this is a lie. We know that, that doesn't actually kill her, because we've done this before. Okay. Now, is there a defense item we can use? Oh, tutorial this way. Sometimes drawing in enemies can play to your advantage. Press Q to make yourself heard by nearby stalkers, or use a diversion item to surround them. To surround them? Oh, you don't actually press Q. You click. Okay, I got a shovel. Uh, let's try something then. Let's try the distraction. Let's see if that works. I don't actually know where she is, so... Let's go ahead and just uh, turn it on. Maybe she'll hear it. She'll come in. And then we'll ambush her with the stealth attack that it gave me the random tutorial for. Okay, look, yeah, it did work. She came in. Okay, now she's just standing there. 
Damn, that's pretty crazy. Damn you. Damn me. Damn you, dude. You're the one attacking me. Okay, so that should maybe... Have you already gone down twice? No, she hasn't. Okay, I got more scissors. You don't want to do this again? Ow. Go fuck yourself, she says. Alright, is this it? Okay. I think I have to try to get the keys. If I don't do that, it doesn't count. Alright, now it counts as me downing her once. Okay, well, I know in the laundry room there's a knife right here, so... Oh, wow. Get her. <laughs> she just didn't see me. That's amazing. I'm sure you will. Oh. Wait, I, I killed her. I'll make you pay was her dying, dying words. Okay, now we got it. We got the master key. Okay. What was our objective? Leave the second floor? I've still got to unlock and use the lounge room telephone. Leave the second floor. Okay, so what? This? Oh, crap. I thought it was a master key! What kind of master key is it if it doesn't open that? Cool. Alright, let's see. <laughs> it's right here. This is it. Wow, you didn't, you didn't even put the key in the door, Jennifer. <laughs> Action-packed! What?! Is that the end of the demo? Or are we loading? Okay, we're loading into... Some years later. You won't tell me exactly when. Massacre at the peaceful residence of Cerro Oscuro, where the body of Richard Felton, a well known notary, was found burnt in his own home. The man who was legally registered as Jennifer Richard Dean Felton and was found completely drenched in kerosene. The body of 38 year old Gloria Ashman was also found at the scene. So, this is she after the events of Tormented Fathers. None at the Crystal Morente convent. Her body was found mutilated after she was thrown <laughs> out a courtyard facing. It's Rosemary. Following a heated argument. The neighbors claim to have spotted a distinctive woman lurking around the area, having parked a white van nearby. Yeah, apparently now she's Cruella de Vil. Look at this. Lived in the lap of luxury here. Mr. Ashman is waiting for you. Why? Did you say Reed? Are you a relative? More like an old family friend. Please come in, Miss Reed. Come in. Don't be afraid. I don't bite. What is Reed? A pun? It's her last name. Good evening, Mr. Ashman. You've certainly come a long way. You have gone from simple larceny and battery all the way to homicide and arson. Are you here to broaden your resume? Do you remember me? I'll never forget a face. Maybe because I don't have one anymore. <gasps> what? That's the end of the demo? The end of the demo is him being like, I don't have a face anymore. Dun. Okay. Uh. Wow. What is there to say about remothered broken porcelain? The demo. I gotta say, I am very concerned if this is coming out on the 13th. That's a week from now. Unless this is a much older build than what's going to be released. I'm very concerned. I couldn't look at the controls screen. They're completely bugged. When I tried to look at them, it showed me the controller controls. When I plugged in a controller, it showed me the mouse and keyboard controls. And then if I pressed anything, they just totally disappeared. We, we had character models disappearing and reappearing in some cases. Uh, bad design decisions, like that entire laundry room sequence. Uh, 
sound effects, missing sound effects, missing music in some parts. I, just from a technical standpoint, it's it's very concerning. Uh, from a gameplay perspective, I'm not gonna lie, so far, this is kind of reminding me more of Night Cry than Clock Tower. And I think Tormented Fathers kind of reminded me more of Clock Tower. Like, it's really cool to see the high production value, right? Normally, indie horror games don't have this many cutscenes, this many, like, fully modeled characters to, to this graphical extent. They don't have, like, moving lips to match the voice acting, and a lot of them don't even have voice acting. It, so all of that is great, but it's like I just can't get past a lot of these bugs. They're very distracting from the overall experience. Also, I mean, maybe I'm romanticizing Remothered Tormented Fathers a little bit, but there weren't any puzzles in this. I remember there being some puzzles in that one, but like when you when you restored the power, you just took the electrical cable and you did a quick time event and then it was fixed. So are there not going to be any puzzles in this one or are they going to be few and far between? It just feels, it feels strange. I wasn't expecting it to be like a stripped down version of Tormented Fathers. And that's basically what it is in the demo. But uh, yeah, when the full game comes out on the 13th, I'm gonna play it. Who am I kidding? If you wanna check out uh, the game's uh, Steam store page, that's in the description. They were uh, they were nice enough to give me an early look at the demo and I appreciate it. But uh, yeah, I can't, I can't sugarcoat anything, as you guys know, so uh, yeah. Remothered Broken Porcelain. Let me know what you thought in the comments, and I'll see you guys later. Think critically.